Mr. Girna, please. So again, uh, dobar dan uh, to all uh, colleague friends uh, in uh, in Serbia and Crnagora. So uh, first of all, uh, I would like uh, to to touch point uh, on uh, on what you just said uh, yourself. Uh, we were thinking uh, pandemics is over uh, that we come back to business as usual. Unfortunately, it is not the case. Uh, it is uh, not uh, a, a clear situation, not an easy situation, uh, and uh, and above all, uh, the impact is the impact on uh, on the population. And uh, unfortunately, you know exactly and uh, better than me what uh, what we are talking about out of uh, direct experience. Uh, therefore, uh, we will concentrate as a group, as uh, as a region uh, and uh, as in our individual countries uh, to to try to, to support the people uh, suffering from it uh, you have seen the, the internal uh, communication uh, yesterday and uh, and we will do our uh, our best uh, we will do our job uh, to to support uh, and let's see how things uh, how things uh, how things uh, develop uh, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, I would say uh, something that uh, that we will uh, solve ourselves. But I think it is important that we pay. Do we play our our role as we always done when there was emergencies around Europe? But uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, let's come. Uh, let's come to us. Let's come. Uh, uh, to to our new strategy, which should there be really major disruption, we will adjust uh, adjust uh, to to what is going on. Uh, let's hope for the best, uh, nevertheless, uh, that uh, reason uh, prevails in the end. But before uh, before starting uh, with the new strategy, let's spend one moment. Uh, what uh, we we reach, how we went about uh, the generally. 21 uh, achievement, the generally 190 sort of uh, centenary um, uh, strategy. On the numbers, I can tell you, it's not official yet, it's coming out in a few days. The group uh, achieved and overachieved all targets. So on the, on the capital generation, on uh, the evolution of the business, uh, on, uh, on also implementing some uh, acquisitions like in Italy, Malaysia, and Greece. We increased our div diversification, but uh, I would point out two most uh, important uh, targets that uh, uh, are even more relevant in the, in the short, medium, and long term. What I mean? First of all, uh, we had an engagement survey where the group uh, registered a record participation and a very high engagement score above uh, previous times and above uh, peers or benchmarks. And that shows that we have been able to, to survive and to weather the pandemic period in an excellent way. And I will touch base on this uh, later. Uh, and last but not least, uh, the group managed uh, to come from a third uh, position to, um, to number one on the RNPS. So the, uh, I would say the personification of our lifetime partner uh, promise where the clients uh, have shown that uh, we are better in this ranking than our peers. It was the success of the last quarter where we really made a further jump. We had initiative everywhere, including uh, Serbia and Montenegro, and I really, really, really thank you for, the, for this performance. One very quick word to the region. How are we seeing, how did we go uh, in this, uh, in this uh, generally group result and generally group uh, environment altogether? Uh, we continue being uh, more or less 10% of the business, but we are able to deliver over proportionally both on the operating rating result and on the net result. Uh, in 2020, we were around 70% uh, on the operating and even more on the net result. 
this uh, this picture is uh, ir is remaining uh, constant so we can be very proud to be part of this region very proud to be part of both generally serbia and generally montenegro because you have delivered uh, your part very 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 successfully and it's not only in 21 but all over the last years uh, let's come to the to the new strategy I will try to keep it simple and uh, go on the fundamentals, uh, the cascading of the details uh, we can do and can be done uh, later. But this strategy is on one side a combination of continuity, and we, we will talk about this, but also a very, very strong acceleration on innovation, on how we interact with the client within our lifetime partner uh, mission, I would say, because the lifetime partnership uh, is not something we put in a strategy for three years and then uh, we have the next, uh, the next one. It is something we have in our DNA and where the target is moving every year because our customers are expecting more and more every year. The, the, the three pillars are, uh, first of all, the PNC of growth. And uh, let me comment on this because while we are uh, accustomed uh, here in uh, Serbia and Montenegro, but also above all in the region to be fundamentally a property and casualty insurer, for the group, this is uh, the other side, is one third uh, and the focus is, is on this one. There we have to grow, but growth means growth of profit or growth with profit. So we have to continue what we've been doing exceptionally well in, uh, in our two countries, focusing on, on quality, focusing on margins, and definitely there will be a, an, uh, an added uh, pressure on efficiency, on cost management, because uh, you know better than me what inflation is, we have inflation, we must adjust salaries, but we have to put it together in the overall uh, profitability. ESG will play a role. You, you see that we are going out of coal-fired uh, uh, energy production throughout uh, the region. We will be, let's say, clean uh, at, uh, at year end. And uh, this pressure or this uh, taking care of a new energy or end of uh, let's say a greener world it will be a part of, uh, of our task uh, both in underwriting and in uh, product uh, development if we come to the to the second pillar is to continue the life business development and this is of course completely different from country to countries you have some uh, big, big, big portfolios like in the regions we have in Austria or in Czech Republic. Uh, in uh, in Serbia, it is important to continue working in in keeping our number one position in a small market and making sure that this market grows. Grows. So we have uh, we have the old traditional uh, business, but uh, it is important to move and develop uh, over time also the, the unit link uh, franchise. What we will uh, look at uh, regionally, but uh, we'll have uh, a look also in the next times at, uh, at uh, country level, is to strengthen also our, our asset management uh, business, which in the long term will be part of an offering together with life insurance. Last but not least, the innovation uh, block. This innovation block uh, touches uh, different things, touches the advisory part and uh, it will be uh, very important to, to remember uh, the possibility to interact with our clients uh, remotely, so portals, but also the risk in uh, advisory system that we will be rolling uh, out throughout uh, the region and make sure that uh, we bring the processes into automation to better uh, functioning, paperless as much as possible. Of course, it is easier said than done. It is a long process, but exactly this roadmap towards 
better automation, better systems, more automatic system is where we have to, to engage. Serbia, let me, uh, let me thank you. Uh, let me thank you for, uh, for uh, great uh, achievements uh, throughout uh, the 2021 20, uh, year. Uh, not only the incredible uh, improvement uh, I was already mentioning on RMPS uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the social uh, commitment through the, the human safety net, uh, but uh, uh, the awards uh, of Itzertias, uh, we have to congratulate uh, our friend and boss uh, Dragan for being uh, named uh, best manager by the, by the association. We were the fully family-friendly institution uh, in, on the financial market, and we were recognized for our talent uh, development. So a 360-degree uh, success, uh, not, to, not to forget uh, the, most, uh, the most profitable uh, company award at group level. So well, well, well done. And this is uh, within the framework of this strategy, the basis, uh, the basis uh, to go ahead. Let me touch one point, which is something uh, differentiating uh, even more us from competitors uh, is the focus on the, on the own network, the focus on our own people who are our uh, way of uh, caring for the client. We have to make sure that this caring is brought into the next millennium. So combining the physical presence with uh, automation, with the human touch, uh, combined with, uh, with the remote uh, advisory. And in this, uh, in this, uh, in this uh, sense, we have been working very strongly to have a 24 hour service. Of course, a personalization, a, tailor, a tailoring of products and services uh, is, uh, is the way to go forward. And we are thinking of uh, new ways uh, together with advanced care, for instance, in the health insurance area as a, as a way into the next, uh, the next world. And last but not least, the, the presence towards the client is not only the the advisory but is also the training of the people to meet uh, the client so we have to have a, a physical and uh, digital ecosystem if you allow me this this modern uh, expression that is over inflated but supporting our clients uh, all all around how do we respond how we implement uh, all these things is through continuing the Lion, Lion Power Proda, program at regional and country level, the main, uh, the main focus will remain on the four key pillars of remote sales, streamlining of projects, remote claims and remote working, and together, of course, with the organizational transformation, the strengthening of asset management, and introducing a stronger component, a stronger role of the analytics and uh, artificial intelligence. But if you allow me one comment, uh, it is not uh, to try to have uh, a, a glass tower of a scientist somewhere. We have simply to bring new instruments into the business, uh, new additional capabilities that allow us, uh, our specialists, to be even stronger. Uh, on, on the market. It will, uh, of course, be the first step now to go in detail into the strategy, implement and adjust uh, the Lion Power streams, add uh, where, uh, uh, where, in, where needed some additional uh, streams or uh, add some required, uh, let's say, broadening of, uh, of the teams. And, uh, and we will go forward as a unit in the sense that we have a regional global path and a very country specific uh, implementation. In uh, uh, one comment uh, on uh, Lion Power in Serbia, I would like to, to thank you once again, because on the KPI side, uh, uh, we have been, uh, we have been successful on all fronts on all 24 pro projects and uh, and i think 
uh, you have the right mentality, the right approach to be successful also in the new uh, product, uh, product cycle. I think 90% of success uh, is, uh, is in the people. And uh, I would like to move uh, with these words to, to thank you again uh, for, for the inc incredible uh, participation uh, to the engagement survey. The group was, uh, was at 89 and uh, Serbia and Montenegro uh, were uh, at 99% level. Uh, I think uh, it was only statistic or somebody that was ill and not participating. Thank you very much. It's a confirmation from uh, the last one. So it's not a new achievement, uh, really well done. It shows that you all care for the company that uh, your, your company is in your art. And if there is a dialogue, all people are interested in bringing their, their voice. Incredible engagement score uh, above the previous uh, engagement survey, above the Generali group, which in the end, uh, if you allow me the comment, uh, as, uh, as three components. Uh, you have the, the rational connections of the brain, the emotional connection, the heart moving uh, our people, but above all, in the end, uh, the behavioral part uh, where heart and, uh, and brain move the people to action. And this action means that we as an organization are delivering more than, uh, than even expected. So thank you very, very, very much. What is also important in this moment is on the engagement survey to study where the pain points are, where the criticism or the suggestions for improvements uh, are. Take this serious and uh, prepare and implement a set of, uh, of action, a set, set, set uh, of uh, intervention on uh, system, on procedural organization to take, uh, take care and uh, acknowledge uh, the, the inputs from, uh, from our team. Concluding, I mean, in the end, uh, business is people. Uh, success uh, and failure uh, are not uh, so much driven by, by the PowerPoints of the strategy, even if they, of course, give direction. They are also not, uh, not uh, given by going from, a, from PowerPoint to Excel of the, of the plan. The success is you on the field in front of our partners, in front of our clients. And with, with such a team, I'm sure uh, and confident that we'll have a continuous success also in this new st strategic cycle. Thank you very much. That's a pause. Thank you very much, Mr. Chirina, for this uh, great presentation and, uh, you know, informing us what is expected from us. I'm sure that we people from Serbia and Montenegro will be able to further uh, develop our strategy in our region. So, dear colleagues, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Now I'm inviting you all to ask your question by raising your hand. You have uh, time, so please. Mr. Filipovic, maybe you would like May, to, yes. to start. Yes, thank you. Uh, let me break the ice uh, with the questions. But before the question, I would like to thank you, Mr. Chirina, very much for uh, uh, your presentation, uh, for sharing with us uh, basic and essential guidelines for our new three-year group strategy. Uh, of course, we are very sorry that uh, we didn't host you live in Belgrade. But uh, that fact uh, didn't uh, diminish our intention to hear you uh, uh, pretty good and understand uh, everything regarding the first achievements in the last year in our region and the last three years. And uh, uh, more important than that, uh, what we are expecting uh, in the next three uh, year cycles. Uh, the goals and the direction uh, we are going all together are uh, clear to us. And I'm happy to tell you that uh, Generali Serbia, as well as Generali Montenegro, are in line with the uh, group and regional strategy. Uh, we are just finishing uh, um, our local uh, strategy that we started uh, almost six months ago. 
internally with internal uh, force of the people and the colleagues and uh, soon uh, at the end of this month we will share with the all colleagues in the country everything that we need to start implementation in the next uh, three years. Okay, uh, my question is uh, mm, related uh, to most uh, uh, challenging uh, uh, up to you, up to your experience since uh, you have uh, uh, gone in your long career a lot of uh, strategic cycles uh, and uh, what do you think uh, is the most uh, uh, challenge uh, uh, for our region uh, and uh, for each local countries in implementation of the uh, new group strategy? I think the, the main uh, goal uh, is uh, to, to bring organization and where we're interacting with clients uh, in the next uh, millennium. Let's um, f try to phrase it in such a, in, a big, uh, in a big way. But what does it mean? It means uh, to uh, modernize uh, our processes, uh, modernize our IT, and uh, be even more quicker and more present uh, with, uh, with the client, which is in theory very easy. In theory, also very simple. But in the end, it means an incredible amount of work on the processes, on the IT, on the products uh, with a modular approach, and uh, and above all in the mentality. I think there, uh, generally, Serbia and Montenegro has uh, an, an advantage compared to other countries, uh, even compared to some uh, bigger countries, because this client focus uh, has been always uh, present historically. And I think also the last uh, organizational uh, changes uh, confirmed this. But this is the, is the biggest challenge. And the, to invest and to improve and, uh, and, uh, and make sure also that our people are paid well, because uh, this is also something which is not so easy with the wage inflation. Of course, uh, we have, as manager, to, uh, we have to, the responsibility to give answers to our people. Uh, to combine this with the profitability and the growth, uh, I think uh, starting from such a strong position uh, that we have now is the biggest challenge. On the macro stuff, of course, uh, as we were mentioning before, the question is how things develop uh, in in Europe at large. Thank you, Very clear. Yeah. Thank you. So I see that we are oh, you are raising a hand. So let me invite uh, our colleague Vuko Lašinac, business strategy manager, to ask his question to Mr. Cirina. Vuči, izvoli. Thank you, Natasha. Uh, thank you, Mr. Cirina, for your presentation. Uh, I'm interested in the role uh, of artificial intelligence and uh, do you think uh, that really artificial <laughs> intelligence is going to change the insurance industry? And uh, if your answer is yes, when can we expect this to happen? Thank you. But the answer is uh, yes, completely and no. And let me explain what I mean uh, in the sense the availability of in more and more uh, data, the management of more data allows us uh, to respond quicker and better to our clients and to, let's say, direct our uh, actions in a more precise way, just a CRM, uh, IMP, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, on that side, there will be a great impact because uh, it's exponential growth and availability. The big challenge in my, in my eyes is uh, to combine this uh, stronger, incredibly uh, growing capabilities and uh, analytical uh, results that show us the way better uh with uh, with our world in what i mean i mean to have uh, the setup of a completely different unit saying now i have um, artificial intelligence and uh, advanced analytic team that substitutes uh, underwriters or other areas i think is the the bad way what I think is, uh, which is more difficult, of course, uh, due to sometimes generational, uh, let's say, conflicts or uh, potential conflicts, 
is to bring together a strong capability that we have. You know, if we are beating the competitors and being better on the loss ratio, it means that, that uh, our teams have a know-how which is better than the market. We have to bring these teams with the introduction of new capabilities, of new tools, of a new way of working in a certain extent, but together. Only together we can be strong and really take the advantage of this revolution. Uh, if you look on LinkedIn, which uh, without any doubt many of you follow, there is an, a very, a very, very interesting and nice uh, advert of, uh, of Munich Re uh, saying uh, we bring together our tradition with the future uh, or something uh, like this. And this is exactly the biggest challenge because it's easy to create a team and say, oh, the old guys don't know anything, you do the new stuff. But you miss uh, a lot of experience that can be put into the, into the algorithms if uh, properly addressed. Let's now take a question from our colleague Nemanja Beljanski, the head of technical department. Nemanja, izvoli. Thank you, Natasha. Uh, good morning, Mr. Sirina. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have an uh, have opportunity to, to uh, point you the question. First of all, thank you for nice words and uh, inspiring speech. And uh, my question is, uh, uh, goes like this. Uh, now, since we are uh, coming, uh, hopefully coming out uh, from the pandemic situation, and of course we are praying this conflict is is uh, is uh, is going to be end soon. But uh, one uh, risk remains, uh, and this is a risk of climate changes. Uh, this risk will affect the industry of insurance uh, in the future. And uh, what is your opinion? Uh, how uh, adequately uh, industry insurance in general is coping with and realizing this risk and doing measures mit in mitigation with this and in, in specific what should be the role of generali in this uh, in this matter in the next uh, years thank you uh, we can uh, stay here a couple of hours on this uh, subject uh, but uh, in order not to make a sabotage to this uh, to this event, I will try to be to be short and touch uh, a very complex matter uh, in a succinct uh, way. Uh, what we are seeing is definitely an increase of frequency and of severity of natural uh, events. In particular, we have seen uh, an event, uh, storm events uh, in Europe uh, with the tornado in uh, Czech Republic, we had heavy weather in uh, Austria, but above all, uh, we had a nightmare uh, storm in, uh, in Germany. Uh, flood has always been uh, present, thank God, touch wood and uh, whatever appropriate, uh, the Danube has been uh, more calm than uh, many years uh, before. And we cannot forget that uh, we have also uh, a significant earthquake exposure if we look not so far uh, towards the, the, the Romanian-Bulgarian border, but also on the Slovenian-Italian uh, side. Uh, the answers are, uh, are, uh, are of different nature. From a short, uh, let's say, low perspective, uh, the key is uh, to make sure to know what we do. That is, uh, that is clear. Uh, the ABC of, of us, uh, of generally of any insurer, to know where your exposure is, measure it and make uh, sure that you monitor the areas where you have this exposure to, to different uh, levels of pets. This is the, let's say, allow me the most stupid answer, but it is uh, at the ABC of our job. Uh, the problem is that with severity, uh, the available uh, capital for covering these uh, natural events will come sooner or later under pressure. At the moment, uh, there is still a lot, of a lot of capacity, but already at this renewal, we have seen uh, that uh, the, the prices have gone up, and with this development, 
there will be lower uh, lower capacity on the insurance market. Uh, what uh, what will be or should be the answer? I think in the long term, the states uh, cannot uh, stay away from participating. If we really want uh, want to do something good for society, is uh, combining market uh, capacities, uh, so pools, with the insurance uh, available on the market, uh, and uh, a state uh, a state uh, financial intervention uh, parallel to this then uh, is it on top is it parallel these are details but uh, to protect as much as possible uh, society at large this is the only solution together with uh, obligatory insurance that allows uh, for uh, premium collection there is if we want to bring it to everybody this is the only way until and in most cases uh, the states do not want to to risk or want to keep the money linked to, to the politics and i can tell you out of my own personal experience when i was uh, uh, president of the austrian insurance association i had many meetings with the minister of finance even in the days after a big uh, flood and uh, you know it's nice for politicians uh, to be able to come with a small check the day after and go on the newspaper rather than to have a system that brings a lot of money, but they don't come on the newspaper, unfortunately. Uh, you see that in countries like uh, France, uh, Spain or Switzerland, where there is such a system, uh, the, the, let's say the level of non-insured losses because that is the real issue for societies, the incredibly high level of non-insured losses can be minimized. Thank you, Mr. Cirina. Thank you, Nemanja. So now let's take a question from Natasha, uh, from Montenegro. Natasha, please ask your question. Yes, thank you. Well, you already touched the point a little bit within the introduction, but what I would like to ask is that Considering the latest developments which are currently happening in Ukraine, what are the expectations and the projections of um, these, uh, these effects and the impacts on the development and on our strategy, the company strategy? Well, fundamentally, if you take uh, the, let's say, the quality in the business side, uh, I would say uh, no change. Uh, if we have uh, a recession or higher inflation, we have to adjust uh, on the priorities, but I do not see a, a, a big difference. What I can tell you oh, certainly, and this uh, is uh, unfortunately obvious, uh, we were looking in the past uh, to either acquire majority of Ingostrack or to find a solution to uh, get a uh, significant market presence on the Russian market. Uh, I think this uh, we will not do for many years, unfortunately. I mean, this uh, uh, is gone and, and done. Uh, Ukraine, we were present. Uh, I was actually personally involved when we did the acquisition of Kravto in, uh, in Kiev, but then uh, due to some let's say, uh, frictions between uh, the minority shoulder of Ukravto and, uh, and PPF, we, we sold the company. Uh, after a while, there was uh, the PPF company in Ukraine, but as, uh, as you know, when we split uh, the joint venture, uh, Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan and Belarus uh, went, uh, went with PPF. So we do not have activity there and uh, I do not think uh, we will have it in the foreseeable, uh, foreseeable future. Yes, thank you uh, for that. And I think we have a time for just one more question. So I'm inviting our colleagues, head of uh, internal sales, Zorica Todorovic, to raise the question, ask a question for Mr. Cirina. Zorica, please. Thank you, Natasha. Good morning, Mr. Cirina, and thank you very much for inspiring speech. <laughs> Uh, we are continuously improving our culture from sales to need-based advisory. Next step is advisory. In your opinion, uh, what are the most important benefits we can expect from this approach? But the first, uh, and I think the most important, is uh, to take away uh, the, 
discussion with the client uh, from uh, a pure price level uh, to something more. Uh, I think we already moved uh, significantly from all times uh, everywhere, uh, and, so, and certainly we can say this also for uh, Serbia and Montenegro. Uh, the the big challenge uh, I see is uh, the penetration of insurance that uh, with the clients uh, there is a discussion which is uh, the most uh, distant uh, from a pure motor third party liability and uh, with other lines of business because uh, of course, uh, on the on a motor and third party liability, the advisory part uh, is uh, to be very positive, uh, sufficiently limited. So the the future of advisory certainly linked with a broader discussion with the client uh, on on his needs. Uh, retention is certainly very much linked to the quality of the advisory, to the quality of the advisor, which is then in turn uh, going to the key in reality of, uh, of our job, which is the training and the development of the advisors. Uh, as a company, recruitment, training, and continuous training and developments are the three key in this together with the tools, because nowadays uh, you must give uh, adequate tools uh, on the on uh, on the advisory side uh, which cannot remain only on words or on paper it must be a digital uh, but also uh, on the portal side uh, that uh, the client uh, can do some of the self-service part on his own uh, and uh, and, uh, and receive uh, policies uh, by remote we have different also regulations in different countries so for instance, uh, in some countries, digital signature was not allowed until uh, last year, and some is still not. So this is uh, in the uh, on on that uh, journey. But uh, uh, this all round serving the client more than just let's say I'm cheaper than the component is the is the future, and it will be also the future uh, that. Uh, uh, commission systems do not work only on production, but keep uh, also a track and uh, take uh, in consideration also the activity done with the clients. Okay, Mr. Chirina, thank you very much for taking the questions from our people from Serbia and Montenegro. We were very happy to have you here today online, virtually in our virtual office, but we hope that we soon we will have a we will manage and we will, there will be opportunity to meet you alive also. Thank you very much for all the presentation and all the answers that you provide for us. Thank you so no, much. Thanks to you. you. Thanks to you for all you do. Thanks for a great effort and performance and, uh, and above all a great, great, great uh, team spirit. So continue like this. All the best and hopefully see you soon. Thank you. Same greetings. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dragi kolege, evo zahvaljujemo se direktoru Čirini što nam se danas pridružio i sada predlažemo, nastavit ćemo sastanak na našim jezicima, što će meni prvoj pomoći da malo manje pravim grešaka nego što sam na početku, na čemu vam se izvinjavam. Mislim, direktore Filipoviću, da je sada dobra prilika da nastavimo, da se nadovežemo na temu koju je direktor Čirina počeo i da nam kažete kako mi u našim zemljama planiramo da nastavimo našu razvoj strategije i naše ciljeve. Pa, drage koleginice i kolege, evo čuli ste direktora Čirinu koji nam je ukratko približio pre svega šta smo ustvarili kao region i kao grupa u prethodne tri godine i ako ste pažljivo gledali, izuzetni su rezultati. Zaista smo napravili rekordne rezultate u sve tri godine, godinu za godinom, zaključno sa krajem prošle godine. U to se priključuju i rezultati Srbije i Crne Gore, Manje Srbije u prošle godine, ali u trogodišnjem ciklusu kada su proseči i period pre korone i tokom korone imali smo zaista zapažne rezultate, ali videli ste da se tu takođe velika pažnja na slajdovima i na dostignućima Srbije i Crne Gore poklanja od strane našeg regiona i na mnoga druga dostignuća koja su vezana za odnose sa klijentima MPS Core samim tim, pošto su to porotne informacije naših klijenata o tome kako nas doživljavaju u toku našeg dela interakcije u bilo kom procesu sa njima. 
Takođe se velika pažnja poklanja i da Human Safety Net akcijama koje sprovodimo, to drživo poslovanje i društvena odgovornost koju svaka kompanija u Generaliju treba da ima kad društvene zajednice takođe i tekako gleda. Tako da i tu smo pohvaljeni. Naravno da se profitabilan rast očekuje u budućem periodu. Samo smo podsjetili sve nas da smo dobili prošle godine, ali za godinu pre, ajde da kažem, ili za dve godine pre smo dobili nagradu na nivou cele grupe, znači svih 50 zemalja sveta kao najprofitabilnija kompanija u celoj grupi. Izuzetno priznanje, ali na tome ne može da se zaustavimo, moramo da dokazujemo i stalno potvrđujemo tu priču. Koleginici i kolege u Crnoj Gori zaista godine mu nazad potvrđuju takođe održiv profitabilan rast na tržištu koje je malo i koje je jako teško u slučaju kada vam par klijenata, žargonski rečeno, pobegne i nemate ih u svom portfoliju i obrnuto. Ako uspete da preotmete od drugih neke klijente, odmah ste skočili na pozicijama, ali ne trebamo da se dovoljamo market share-ovima ni u Srbiji ni u Crnoj Gori kao osnovnim idejom vodiljem našeg biznisa, nego, ko što sam rekao, baljenjem klijentima, inovacijama, u napređenju i digitalizaciji naših procesa kako bi smo bili brži i agilniji u našim svakodnevnom radu. I što je najvažnije, se još više nego do sada bavimo našim zaposlenima. Čuli se direktora da je pomenuo rast engagement skora na nivou regiona, na nivou grupe cele. Pohvaljeni smo i strani akcionara koji su zainteresovani za uspeh generalija što zaposleni iskazuju zadovoljstvo radom u generali kompanijama. Naš skor je i dalje ono najveći. 90 skor je zaista najveći u regionu i u grupi. Međutim, ne samo da zaboravimo da nam je skor manji nego pre dve godine. I mi smo sa Bordom baš pre neki dan imali važan sastanak na temu isključivo engagement surveya i svi smo zaključili da smo dobili podatke i komentare svih vas koje tretiramo kao blago. Zaista kao blago, jer svi ti komentari pokazuju pre svega vašu otvorenost da ukažete na ono što je dobro, da nikad ne zaboravimo da na tome nastavimo da radimo i u Crnoj Gori i u Srbiji, ali i tekako da ukažete na nešto što nije dobro i na nešto što moramo da napredimo, da stavimo fokus u našem budućem radu. Kao i svaki put nakon engagement survey analiza, imamo dvogodišnji ciklus kada trebamo da napravimo plan akcija, i potvrdit ćemo ga uskoro na nivou svih onih kritičnih stvari koje smo svi zajedno napisali i istakli ka našoj kompaniji, na čemu treba da radimo svi zajedno kako bismo zaista postigli da na Generali i u Srbiji i u Crnoj Gori bude omiljeno mesto za rad. Dosta posle ispred nas. Ja svaki put govorim da je uvek posljednja godina trogodišnjeg ciklusa i prva godina novog trogodišnjeg ciklusa su najteže godine. Evo, izašli smo prošle godine iz tog prethodnog ciklusa, a sad počinjemo novi trugodišnji ciklus i sve su oči uprte, naravno, uvek u prvu godinu. Naše ambicije su izuzetno visoke u ovoj godini. Ko što znate, prošle godine nismo stvarili u Srbiji zacrtane ciljeve i planove po pitanju profita i operativnog rezultata. Po planu ove godine treba da se vratimo na ono što smo nekada imali, a to nekada je bilo do pre samo, ajde da kažem, dve godine ali nije lako to postići. Tako da je mnogo posle ispred nas. Mislim da u ovoj godini treba da radimo više nego ikada svi zajedno sa ciljem i ambicijom da zaista ostvarimo sve ono što smo finansijski postavili za cilj, ali mnogo ovih drugih stvari je neophodno da uradimo kako bismo i mimo tih stvari ostvarili na pravi način doživotno partnerstvo, pre svega sa našim zaposlenima, a onda i sa našim klijentima. Samo sam dao mali uvod i nije sad trenutak da o tome pričam. Do kraja meseca ćemo verovatno imati veliki naš lokalni roadshow, takozvani, a to je upoznavanje svih zaposlenih sa lokalnom strategijom koja treba da bude na liniji grupne i regionalne strategije koju smo danas čuli od direktora Čirine. A to je da definišemo specifičnosti našeg tržišta i u Srbiji i u Crnoj Gori i akcije koje trebamo da radimo na oba tržišta s ciljem da ostvarimo sve ono što se očekuje od nas na nivou trugodišnjeg strateškog ciklusa. 
Nadamo se svi da će i korona da splasne, ako ništa drugo da bude na nivoima, da se ukinu sve mere i zabrane i okupljanja i onda krećemo u naš stari prepoznatljivi stil obilaska filijala, obilaska regionalnih centara, razgovora direktnog uživo sa ljudima, priči o strategiji, slušanjem pitanja koje imate da nam postavite kako bismo svi zajedno mogli tačno definišemo pravac i put s kojim želimo da idemo i šta sve trebamo zajedno da radimo kako bismo do tog cilja stihli. Hvala, direktore. Evo, mislim da je ovo dobar trenutak i da završamo ovaj sastanak. Da se zahvalim prvo vama na prisustu, ujedno da se zahvalim i svim članovima borda koji su danas bili ovde u ovoj našoj, da kažem, sastanku koju smo malo online, malo uživo, značila nam je njihova podrška. Drage kolege, hvala i svima vama na vašem učešću pitanjima koje ste postavili. Sva pitanja koje ste postavili u chat boxu ili koje ste želi da postavite, potrudit ćemo se da vam obezbedimo odgovore od direktora Čirine. A sad za kraj ovog sastanka želimo sa vama da podelimo jedan video o održivom razvoju, našoj strategiji održivog razvoja, koja znate da je sastavni deo naše strategije na globalu pa i u Srbiji. Ovim videom ćemo i završiti naš današnji sastanak. Hvala vam puno na pažnji i nadam se da ste uživali. Hvala vam puno na pažnji i nadam se da ste uživali. I really hope you and your families are well and safe, and I hope next time I will be able to join you in person. I'm Lucia Silva, I'm the Group Head of Sustainability and Social Responsibility, and I'm here to provide you an overview of the role of sustainability in the new Generali strategy, Lifetime Partner 24, Driving Growth. There are three key messages that I want to share with you today. The first one, is that in the new strategy, sustainability is the originator, which means uh, that our ambition is that sustainability will shape all the decisions that are taken. It is really about considering the impact of our decisions, looking at either the financial performance and the impact on people, for example, our employees, clients, and the community at large, and the environment. It is definitely a game changer. My second key message is about the four main roles we play as a sustainable company. We are a responsible investor. And in fact, we committed to fully embed sustainability in all investment decisions. And also we committed to be carbon neutral by 2050 in our investment portfolio with an interim goal of reducing by 25% our carbon footprint by 2024. And then we have a huge commitment in investing in new green and sustainable investment by 2025 up to 9.5 billion. And finally, we committed to support the European recovery with an investment of 3.5 billion. Then we have an important role as a responsible insurer. And here we must continue to develop green and social product, which we call in the new strategy, sustainable solutions. We had a goal already in Generali 2021, and we need to push further connecting the value proposition to those increasing number of customers who want to have an impact on the society and on the environment. And then we want to foster sustainable transition for SMEs through enterprise projects. We had the first edition last year and I must thank Austria, Hungary and Czech Republic to have been part of this journey since the beginning. And I've heard that also Croatia will join soon and I hope that the other will follow. And then uh, also as a responsible insurer, we have a huge role to play uh, in pushing for carbon neutrality of our underwriting and insurance activities. And here we have been the founder of Net Zero Insurance Alliance, uh, and we will define soon uh, specific uh, goals. And here I have to thank our colleagues in Poland, in Czech Republic and in Serbia, who have been part of the journey in engaging the coal companies to make them more aware of their environmental impact, but also of the social impact of the transition and the urgency for them to move 
for more sustainable business models. Then let me back to the third role that we can play as a sustainable uh, company. We can and we must be a responsible employer. Here, we need to address a specific topic such as diversity and inclusion, but also being focused on reskilling our employees uh, to make sure they are ready for the new challenges uh, given by sustainability, but also by the digital transformation. And, and then we need to manage properly and wisely the new normal to make sure that this new normal uh, will be managed according to our employees' needs. And then finally, our role as a responsible citizen. Here we have uh, the great initiative of the human safety net. And uh, all of you have been already part uh, of, uh, of it. In the new strategy, we, want, we have pushed the commitment of involving our people uh, in uh, uh, volunteering activities. And also we see the human safety net as a kind of laboratory where we can play uh, and develop uh, innovative solutions that uh, will fill the insurance gap to serve people living in more vulnerable circumstances. And please stay tuned because uh, in the next month, uh, there will be the opening of the house uh, of the human safety net in San Marco place in Venice. And then my third message, sustainability is a journey in which every action counts. So it's not just a narrative, it's not just a nice story to tell uh, to our stakeholders. It's really a, a changing of our processes, of our decision-making uh, activities. So it's something that everyone can make and uh, on which everyone can have an impact. So I'm pretty sure that all of you will be part of this journey. We even more energy, more conviction, more focus, and more sense of purpose. And I'm pretty sure that we'll be achieve great results. Thank you so much. Thank you.